Could deep fakes come for our money? Many people worry that deep fakes, phony recordings made by artificial intelligence or AI, could further spread disinformation in our political system. But what about our financial system? Criminals have long plagued the financial world. Today, they can use spoofed emails or cyber attacks to steal money and valuable data. But the addition of deep fakes could enable more sophisticated schemes. Deep fakes can capture real people's facial features and vocal patterns to depict them saying things they never said. AI algorithms can also create imagined people, voices, objects, and even human writing. Collectively called synthetic media, these tools are becoming more powerful and easier to use. Synthetic media have already been seen in a handful of financial crimes and could someday target individuals, companies, markets, and government regulators alike. Three potential techniques are especially worrisome. Deep fake voice phishing uses cloned voices in fraudulent phone calls by collecting samples from online videos, voicemails, or covert recordings. A criminal could clone a victim's voice and then use it to trick his financial advisor into making a bogus wire transfer. Today, human impersonators carry out this type of crime, but a custom deepfake can be more persuasive. Fabricated private remarks are video or audio clips that falsely depict a business leader behind the scenes. For example, a fake video of a CEO talking about her company's supposed imminent collapse might cause its stock price to drop. If she's highly trusted, she could quickly debunk the video. But if she's already under fire, proving the truth might be difficult. Synthetic social botnets are fake social media accounts that use AI to simulate human profiles and writing. For example, a network of bots could help fuel a bank run by claiming to be customers unable to withdraw their money. Compared to today's bots, AI-generated bots would be more human-like and harder to detect. So, how worried should we be? Synthetic media are powerful new weapons, but we don't know how many criminals will choose them over simpler tools that have proven to be profitable. Still, financial institutions can't just wait to find out. Staying ahead of this threat requires new technologies, institutional safeguards, and public education. This calls for collaboration between the financial sector and others, including tech companies, government agencies, and journalists. For more on scenarios and potential responses, read Deep Fakes and Synthetic Media in the Financial System, produced by Carnegie's FinCyber Project.